Today in Your Money, conventional wisdom says that what goes up must come down. But even if you view the stock market volatility as a normal occurrence, it can be tough to handle when it's your money at stake. Here with us today is Jeffrey H. Massey, a certified financial planner professional, to provide us with some common sense tips to deal with the stock market's ups and downs. Thanks so much for being here, Jeff. Look. Now, as I can imagine, there's probably really no foolproof way to avoid market volatility other than just simply don't invest. So why don't you help us uh, at home and share some common sense tips to dealing with the volatility? Well, that's a great question, and uh, there is no real foolproof way to totally avoid potential losses in the stock market. However, there are different asset classes such as stocks, bonds, cash alternatives. So you want to spread your money amongst those three different categories, if you will. And what you want to do is like as a young aggressive investor, you could have like 70% of your money in stocks, 20% in bonds, and then cash alternatives, CDs, money markets, etc. And that'll help um, offset the different uh, ups and downs of the market. When one category is down, it could be offset by the other category being up. Now, I've heard of the term asset allocation. Can you explain actually what that means? Asset allocation is simply diversifying your assets. So within each category, say stocks, you would then want to split up your money into perhaps uh, financials, utilities, manufacturing companies. So you're covering different segments of the market. And again, as one might be going up, it will offset another that might be going down at the same time. So that leads me to my next question. Is there actually a good side to stock market volatility? You, you know, good question. Uh, and actually there is. If you're a systematic investor, meaning mm -hmm. if you're putting money in each month and you put the same amount in, you're buying more shares when the market is low, you're buying fewer shares when the market is up. However, when you do that, when the market comes down, you're buying more shares. So when it recovers, you have more shares to recover with and therefore you should recover Covering more yourself. quickly. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Really important question here. How do we at home determine the level of risk that someone should really expose themselves to? Well, when you work with a certified financial planner, which is always a good idea, we use questionnaires. And okay. a client, a potential client, would have to fill out the questionnaire. It's pretty simple. It's not really uh, all that technical. It's really doing a gut check. What is your level of risk that you're comfortable with? And based on that, we help people spread out their money to help them achieve their goals that they're looking for. Jeff, thanks so much for being here. My pleasure. Now more than ever, very important information on stock market volatility from Massey and Associates. We're going to get all that important information over to the website, which of course is foxprovidence.com. Elizabeth?